everybody, welcome to a new segment. We're calling Flocking Th- Flocking Thoughts. We're calling it Flocking Thoughts because we couldn't think of a better flocking name. You're thinking, oh, it's gonna be like this really professional bird segment. No, no, it's not. It's gonna be me just blasting you in the face with hot takes of bird thoughts, mostly based on what I'm seeing in my yard and maybe my local birding patch and just general thoughts on, on the bird world. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it's going to be because this is the first segment and it might change completely by the time I do another version of this. As you saw with many of the other things we've done, the how to ID, the true bird mystery. Make sure you're watching those videos. Make sure you're sub, 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 subscribing to this channel because the more you subscribe, the less I stutter. Is that a, is that a, can I say that still? Welcome to Flocking Around and this is Flocking Thoughts. I think I already said that. You don't need more. Um, here are my flocking thoughts for today's segment, Juncos. Last week, a storm came through where I live, central Wyoming, Rocky Mountains. Right before the storm came through, there was a nice little front that was coming through as part of it. It pushed a bunch of birds in. It was dark-eyed Juncos. Hashtag, join the dark-eyed. And there's a sticker then. that You saw the sticker. I put it on the video probably. Um, so dark-eyed juncos are moving in. If you want dark-eyed juncos in your yard, you need to have things that are attractive to them. So my flocking thoughts for today. Brush piles. You could take your old branches. You could chop them up and use them as mulch for your garden. You could throw them at a dumpster, which seems like a waste of dumpster space. And also, I don't think you're supposed to put organic things like that in a dumpster in most places. You know, hey, let's stop being a jerk, okay? Um, Instead, take all that brush, make a brush pile. Dark-eyed juncos love heavy cover, and they feed on the ground. So create heavy brush piles for dark-eyed juncos. You want to attract dark-eyed juncos with a certain food type. Their favorites, millet, niger seeds, okay? Get some white millet. You can buy it in bulk, usually at a feed store. Um, Most large chain stores don't carry just pure millet. But a lot of the, the mixed seeds, which are oftentimes a little bit of a waste of money, they will have millet in them. And dark-eyed juncos love millet, and they also love niger seed. So, you want dark-eyed juncos? Brush pile. Millet. Niger seed. I'm not going to put bullet points up there, so just listen to what I say. And then go check the links down below, because I'll have links to millet, niger seed, and other ideas for attracting dark-eyed juncos. <laughs>